would like to request all the panelists to please come and uh, occupy one of these chairs. So we, Lynn wants to share her views. Lynn, please go ahead. Well, I just want to thank everyone because we've been doing this work for so long, and this is sort of fruition. It sort of uh, confirms that what we're doing is important, that something is going to go back to your country, something is going to be kept here, and uh, I love to end with uh, it's love, because I think it's uh, love and compassion are what we have to, where we have to be. And I sort of know we've used the word interfaith, but I sort of like to go beyond that and just not even use that word and just use love and compassion, which is universal, makes us all one. So anyway, I thank you so much. I know you're volunteers, and I know how much I appreciate your coming here. It's just absolutely breathtaking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, my heart is just filled with overflowing. This has been a wonderful presentation. And I just have to share with you uh, the image that kept coming to my mind. I, I just got back from seeing the redwoods in California. And the redwoods are the tallest trees in the United States, and they're the oldest trees. They're two to 3,000 years old. And the guide told us that one tree puts down a taproot and over the centuries, other trees form around it, so there becomes a grove of trees. But they all feed from the same taproot, and over time, they all share the same root system. And I somehow thought that is a good image for inner faith. We all are independent, and yet we are all living on this planet together and have the same root system. Well, say what Anusha has to say, all right. Okay. Well, I think it was great, everyone coming out here. But for us, we have so many faiths and so many different types of people that, you know, we talk about it and we discuss it and we interact, but it's not like we don't ever discriminate. And it's not, you know, she's a Christian, she's a Muslim. It's we're all sisters and we're all brothers. And it's one big family. And when something happens to us, um, like something big, like a death in the school or something like that. We all we all work together and we try to support each other, and that's what we need to try to build on and work towards. Well, this is a great experience for me as well. It's just, um, this is to me a piece of heaven because we will all share uh, in that in God's love when we get there. The thing that kept coming out for me is I've, I've traveled some around the world and no matter what religious experience or religious or faith tradition I encounter, we all seem to have the same goals and objectives in this life. To be loved and to love. And to me that is the image of God. We, we were all made in the image of God. And that nugget is embedded in each and every person on this planet, and we all seek and desire the same thing. And it's, it's so important to, to hear from other faith traditions, to see that and know that that truth is real. And I thank you for being here and helping uh, validate that for me once again. Thank you, St. Luke's has given us many opportunities to know people of different faiths and different beliefs and to study and to learn about those different faith traditions. We've had opportunities to sit down and have meals with people of different faiths, with Muslims. And I don't think you can sit down and speak with someone over a meal and hold on to your prejudices. So I'm just so thankful that we have that opportunity to change each other. And I think that's what we do in these forums like we're having right now. We're, 
we're changing each other. I thank you for being here. What a sacrifice you've made. And thank you for that. Um, just listening to everybody today has been really amazing. And uh, I've learned a lot. We were in a Sikh temple this morning as well. So it's just really, really cool and interesting to learn about other people's faiths. And you realize how much common ground there actually is. And we should be focusing on that and not the differences. I just wanted to say two things. Um, one, uh, Brother Imran mentioned about the lock, the locks upon our, our hearts. And uh, I was just remembering that um, in, in our study class uh, that there's a verse in the Quran that comes up again and again and again and again. And our teacher, he says, this is the key to that lock. It's the key to uh, understanding. And that verse, uh, in that verse, Allah says, um, indeed, we have revealed towards you a book in which is your admonition, uh, your advice, ad remembrance, remembrance, advice for you, will you not use your brain? So as a Muslim, I'm encouraged to use my brain. I'm encouraged to ask questions. I'm encouraged to ponder, to think. Uh, I've got intelligence. I should use it. Well, I think I have. <laughs> and God is talking directly to me because if I'm the one reading that at that time, we have revealed towards you a book in which is advice for you. So advice for little me in this book. And so I just wanted to mention that because even, even Michael Jackson says, I'm starting with the man in the mirror, right? So <laughs> Quran is like a mirror and you, you have to, I think it's really important that you focus, uh, that we focus on number one first because obviously every human being has things that we need to work on in our own, you know, psyche, you know, diseases of the mind, jealousy, greed, uh, insecurities, fears, all sorts of things. So we work on ourselves, and I think automatically um, we'll be in a place where um, the, the lady was just saying about not holding pre prejudice uh, when you want to uh, do interfaith. And it's, it's so important to, like, for me to work on myself so that I can share and listen and learn without judging. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. And I, I just uh, want to some, share some feelings of mine that uh, in interfaith, the common thing we have in between is faith. And there are children of uh, younger age groups here who are uh, yet to see the world. And there are elderly people here who have uh, seen almost everything in life. That means they are all, all age groups present here. So what I want to say is that Wealth goes away at one time, leaves you. Power doesn't always stay, it goes away. Even youth leaves you at one point. But if you have faith or believe, it keeps on growing. So we need to hold on to that. I think uh, we're going to conclude our program. I'd like to thank uh, the St. Luke's Methodist Church for hosting this program and uh, giving us the opportunity to come over here and also like to thank the team of Al Rahman Al Rahim who traveled all the way to Pakistan to share the love of message and peace. So thank you and hopefully we will meet again and we will have more interfaith dialogue. Thank you. Thank you.